Assalamu alaikum and welcome to HMZ. In today's video, we will show you how we can design the letter T. Like the previous video, I will take the text tool and type the letter G and choose choose the font family impact. Now press Ctrl or Command T to resize it. Then this is OK. And bring it to the center of the canvas. Now press Ctrl or Command D to make a copy of it. Now select the beneath text, hold the Alt Ctrl and press the right keys about 45 times. To make its copies. Okay. Now, select the first one text and hold the shift key and click on the last one. And convert to smart object. Now bring these photos into the into the canvas and resize it. Right click and play horizontal and resize it properly. I will yeah, I think this is okay. What's it? Now Make a copy. Now select the beneath text and press Ctrl or Command J to make another copy of it. Now select these both and bring it about the about text. Now select this text and limit it to the beneath text by holding the Alt option and clicking between these two layers. Also click on this one and also clip this one into the beneath text. I have already masked it out, so I will remove these areas from the mask. Now select this one, go to the adjustment layers and open up the curves. Select, type here and bring it down. Downward rope by pressing on this or by clicking on this button. Now, take the brush and remove it from this area to make a perfect 3D shape of it. Now, press Ctrl or Command 0 to resize it to the canvas. And first of all, let's make it invisible by holding the Alt, Ctrl, Shift, and E to make a merge layer of all of these and change its frame to reflection. Now change its name to reflection. Press Ctrl or Command T and right click on it and place vertical. Now bring it beneath this one like this in this way. Now click on this button to open up the mask. Take the gradient tool Yes, okay. Now select the layer, not the mask. Go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. And I think about 4 pixel is fine. Press OK. Now come to the background layer, go to the gradient, to choose the gradient, click here. Now click on this handle and click on the color, click right here. Now click on this one and click right here. As we can see there is no change in the color of the above. This why? Because the opacity of this one is about T0. 
Now click on the above handle and make it the opacity and make its opacity to 100. I think I should change the color of this one. Yeah, this is this one is fine. And press OK. And, and this is how we can manipulate a 3D text effect in Adobe Photoshop. For more interesting videos, do follow HMG.